My sister just showed up at the door with my mom and my dad on FaceTime, Grandma and Grandpa Adams, and they have a little something special for Lando. everybody welcome back to the Bingham family channel our life in Holland I hope you guys are all having a great day I am feeling so much better today than I was yesterday for those of you who missed yesterday so much happened Landon and I both went and got COVID tests we went to the pediatrician and to get x-rays, not once, but twice with two different children. You would think that if both of them needed to go, that it at least would have worked out that we could have gone at the same time, but it definitely didn't work out that way. The good news is we found out yesterday that Turin's toe is not broken. Yes, it is still painful. Yes, it is still bruised, but it will heal a lot faster knowing that it's not broken. And even better, I found out this morning, sorry, first thing when they opened, I called the pediatrician's office and said, will you please find out the reason results of Landon's x-rays. They called me back about an hour later and let me know that Landon's x-rays look fine. That was such a relief. For those of you who need to be caught up to speed here a little bit, Landon is having a very specialized surgery in Texas in just a couple of days. We leave tomorrow for that. I was feeling a little bit panicked last night that an injury to his knee was going to stop us from having this surgery. And as you all know, this surgery is so important. We are so grateful that we were able to get in. We're so grateful that we're able to make this trip, that he's able to get this surgery that is honestly going to be life-changing for him. We have seen so many before and after videos of kids who have received this surgery and it is very dramatic. We are feeling so hopeful and so grateful because Landon has slowly been declining in the last three to six months and it has been really hard to watch as his parents for him to go from such a lively active kid to losing so much mobility, getting so tight, having pain, knowing that his hip is slowly coming out of the socket. So I am feeling so happy, so grateful, so relieved this morning to know that we are still on track to leave tomorrow to go to Texas for this surgery. So many things to do to prepare for this surgery today. First thing was find out those x-ray results. Second thing was to stop here at the drugstore where they have wheelchair rentals. The doctor recommended that we get a wheelchair not only for the airport going to and coming back, but also after the surgery. He's not going to be able to walk right away and it's going to be a major adjustment because his body is going to feel so loose. So he said it will be much easier if we just bring our own wheelchair. Yes, hospitals have wheelchairs. Yes, airports have wheel wheelchairs, but sometimes getting from the car to that wheelchair can be challenging and it will just be easier for us to have our own. So just picked up a wheelchair. Landon has had an outpouring of love from so many people that love him. He had some balloons delivered from our neighbor who also happens to work with him at school. He got this little package from one of his therapists with all sorts of stamps and markers and stickers for the plane. He got a treat basket with all of his favorite treats from some sweet friends of ours on the soccer team. My sister just showed up at the door with my mom and my dad on FaceTime, Grandma and Grandpa Adams, and they have a little something special for Lando. This is so nice of you guys. You are so kidding me. Oh my gosh. Did you hear what Turin said? It's like a huge bop okay. it. These are the all colors in one box. Really? Okay, you could not have nailed this any better. Oh. Yes. Okay, for anybody who knows Lando, he plays bop it nonstop. He's very, very good at it. He has a little handheld bop it, carries around it in his pocket everywhere he goes. This game, Simon, is kind of similar to that, a very similar idea, and the perfect gift because it's something that when you're sitting in a wheelchair and you've got casts on and you can't do a lot yet, you can definitely play this game. Such a thoughtful gift. To say the difference for Landon today is night and day. Yesterday he couldn't walk to the bathroom. He couldn't walk into the hospital to get into the wheelchair. I had to carry him. He was in so much pain. He couldn't put any weight on his knee, which is what was making all of us panic a little bit and take him in to get checked out. But it's amazing what a day will do. And normally we would have waited and just seen if the swelling went down, but we didn't really have the luxury of time and needed to know that he was okay for the surgery. But today he's a completely different kid. He's starting to be able to walk a little bit more normally. We 
have been icing his knee and putting a cream called Arnica on it, which helps with the swelling and the pain. It actually helps it to heal as well. So Lando's over here just icing his knee, and we actually got some KT tape put on his knee as well, because that's supposed to help with the swelling. We'll get that taken off before we go see the doctor in Texas, but we are just babying this little knee, and I think he's gonna be feeling a lot better by the time he needs to have surgery on Friday. All right, guys, so I think we mentioned, you guys saw it yesterday's video, Curran, we thought for a moment broke, his toe as it turns out he did not which we're super grateful for that being the case he's been encouraged to kind of maybe just rest up a little bit because he got some very important games coming up here this weekend so that being said he also is on a very competitive team and you know he wants to show his team support and they got some big games coming up so he's resting up however he's at practice i brought him up to practice tonight he's just sitting on the sideline but he came honestly for support so obviously super grateful that his toe is not broken but at the same time don't want him to jump right back into it because you know oftentimes sprains and things like that could turn into into broken Broken bones, but he is up here supporting LaRocca today at practice, and we'll do the same tomorrow and just kind of rest up before his big game this Saturday, which we will be missing because we are going to be in Texas for Landon's surgery. So, anyway, there's a quick update on Turin's toe and kind of what we're doing here at practice tonight. Most of you know we have been waiting for this phone call from this doctor in Texas for over a month and we were so excited to finally hear back from the doctor because over the last few months Landon has slowly been declining, his pain has been increasing, his ability to move around and be himself and getting worse every single day. So we've been super anxious knowing the benefit that he could receive from this surgery. So once we talked to the doctor and discussed all of the ways that it could help him, all the different places where they could do the SPML, he gave us the go ahead to talk to the surgery coordinator and she let us know to our surprise that we could get on the schedule very quickly. Now we felt very strongly that we needed to get him on the schedule as soon as possible due to his current condition. Right now he's in a position with his gait where when he is standing or walking it is slowly pushing his hip out of the socket. So time is very important right now and we are so grateful that we got him in so quickly. But it has been a bit of a whirlwind trying to get everything thrown together at the last minute. Flights, hotels, car rentals, getting all the paperwork taken care of, the payment, the deposit for the hospital, the COVID test, everything, all of our ducks in a row. And then on top of that, I have been trying to organize getting the kids all taken care of while we are gone. Up until a few days ago, I was planning on taking Landon out to Texas by myself and Justin was gonna stay back here with the kids. And then I got a text message from two different friends out of the blue asking when Landon's surgery was and insisting on taking our three kids who are staying home, Tara and Ashton and Ava, so that Justin and I can both go out and be with Landon for this surgery in Texas. My sister, who has two little ones, has also offered to help. Even though she was here last week watching my kids, I have been blown away by the outpouring of kindness and love that we have received from so many people bringing things for Landon and just expressing their love, their offer of prayers and fasting. We are so incredibly grateful. The two friends that offer to take my kids, have kids that are the same age as my kids, and it makes it so much easier because they are so excited to go, and they're so excited to be able to play with their friends, and it has taken so much stress off of me, and honestly just meant the world that they would reach out on their own and be so thoughtful and generous to us in our situation right now. I know that it's just a small moment and we'll all be back together again soon, but it's really hard to be away from my kids. So soon after I was just away from them, I just snuggled them when I got home from all the doctor appointments yesterday and I just told them how much I love them and how much I'm gonna miss them and that we need to be with Landon for this surgery, but how much I love them and how important they are to me. Their needs are just as important and to please call me if they need anything at all, if they're having a hard time at school, if they're struggling with their math homework, because I know that it's easy to feel lost, you know, when one child needs a lot of attention for something, and it's really hard for me to feel like I have to 
divide my attention right now. Cute little Ashton just said, mom, it's okay. Landon really needs this surgery and that's all that matters right now. And it honestly like brought me to tears because it was one of those Holland moments for me where I just feel like it really brings us together as a family and it's so sweet to see our kids be there for each other. You know, they're normal kids and they fight with each other and they have quarrels just like all siblings do. But when it comes down to it, they're really there for each other. Turin's first question when he woke up this morning was, mom, did you get the results back from the x-rays? Is Landon okay? He was so concerned about him. You know, last night before we left to go to the doctor and to get x-rays for Landon, I was crying. I kind of mentioned how I had a little bit of a meltdown and we all just stopped and said a prayer as a family. And after we finished that prayer, I just looked at everybody and I said this, is what it means to be a family. And I'm so grateful for those moments. It's going to be so hard to leave my other three behind, but I know that we will all be together in spirit. And when Landon comes home next week, hopefully feeling like a completely different little boy, it will be worth the sacrifice. All right, you guys, sorry that it has been a lot of my face on the camera today. Justin has been working long hours today at work with so much going on this week away from work. So he is actually at soccer with Turin late tonight. I just got the kids to bed and I'm gonna go get everybody packed. So I'm signing off here tonight. Tomorrow is the big day. We head off to Texas. Make sure you come back tomorrow. It is going to be so awesome. We are so excited. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Welcome to our life in Holland. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe down below, and we will see you guys tomorrow.